Hey everyone, it's at Rift Collectors here. We're opening up a box of 2023 Panini USA Baseball Stars and Stripes. This is a mega box. These are at Walmart for, I think, about $50 and at Target for $45. So uh, a little bit pricier at Walmart as has been the case as of late with Walmart prices. The hobby boxes, I think, go for around $80. Bucks. You do get four hits in here. So let's open up the box. You can actually see the front of the box better what it says uh, you get four autographs or memorabilia cards per box um, and <clears throat> there we go so you get the new mega box exclusive three stars and stripes parallels and of course this is a um, prospecting product so look for the rare kaboom insert now that'd be pretty cool uh, that's what it says on that side too and then here is all the stuff you can get out of it so there's a hundred card set 96 base cards and four highlight cards all right let's get into it i know a lot of people are not big fans of this would rather be buying bowman and understandably so but at the same time for 50 dollars you know 45 50 bucks I just wanted to try it, see what's in here. I've always kind of liked this set, to be quite honest with you. It's kind of fun. They're all in their um, USA Baseball uniform, so it's different than just a generic non-licensed thing. They they actually do have a logo on them, or at least they did in the past. If I could open up these panini packs. Um, so let's see what we can get. Maybe we can pull one of those kabooms. Maybe we can pull a top um, prospect. I'm not sure. I'm going to lower the camera just a wee bit here. All right, there we go. So before we start, uh, looking through these cards, definitely hit the thumbs up button and comment below. Now, this is not paper stock. This is actually a chrome finish, which I believe is new this year. I don't remember that being the case in years past at all. Used to be paper, 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 or cardboard. Uh, so this is a chrome finish on the cardboard. Um, and they have a lot of different names in here. So here is a hollow, louder, and then PJ, um, that's going to be a parallel. This is like the stars parallel, I'm guessing. And back to our base. So actually, these are quite nice looking cards. Um, and I'm not sure exactly who are the top guys you're chasing out of the USA team um, from the set. But they have had uh, players in the past that have been in USA Baseball that have done quite well in the majors and often a pipeline for them to go through uh, so there's a lot of minor league players that will be playing in uh, on this usa squad so that is always cool uh, but the chance to get four autographs is pretty sweet and here may be one of them isaac oh nice so yeah there it is that's a patch auto so nice isaac vidal um a patch autograph interesting autograph but he did inscribe it number 14 there or 19 or <laughs> or maybe that's not a number uh here's like a pinstripe candy stripe i'm not sure what this one's called ross dunn that's red uh and that's a hollow and so one of our friends out there in the youtube world is also a minor well i think he's still in the minor leagues i don't think he's got called up yet um but he is a pitcher for now uh, the uh, San Francisco Giants organization. He has a YouTube uh, chan channel. Daniel Tillo is his name. Uh, we actually did an interview with him on the channel, and he did play USA Baseball. Here's another one of our hits. And, oh, that's pretty cool. It's like a fireworks um, patch. So I'd say they've done a very good job with this set. Uh, even if you're not real big fans of it, I'd say they they drastically improve the look of it there's a gavin in a stars um hollow parallel and so yeah um go check out daniel uh, tillo's channel i think it's something and it, i'll have to look I'll, i don't want to say it. something about sports um but I, i'll if i can remember when i post the video i will definitely link a put a link to him but daniel's a real good guy pitcher for the Giants you played USA Baseball has all kinds of stories of all these good guys that he played with um, again or and again so kind of interesting to hear his take on that stuff all right so let's see here we have another one Elijah Clayton autograph all right that's nice 
I mean, I think for 50 bucks, 45, 50 bucks is pretty fun. Um, I like it that they're in their USA Baseball licensed uniforms. Um, you know, some of the photographs aren't all the greatest, like Grady's right here, but they're not bad either. Um, and the the chrome finish on them is very nice, actually. So, yeah. I mean, it's this very small checklist. It's only 100, 100 cards total. So you're going to get a lot of dupes in this if you're buying more than one. But, you know, it's fun, especially if you're opening it up with a kid, uh, your kid or, you know, nephew or, you know, a friend that is maybe not real in tune to how cards work. You This could be a good set to teach them with and show them, you know, the different things, uh, autographs and, and so forth. Another stars of parallel. Let me know if I missed something uh, in the comments below. Um, I looked at the checklist, but I didn't take a super good look at it. I did see you can get bat knobs and you can get um, like a Nike swoosh. You can get all kinds of stuff out of it. And I don't know, I have to look at the mega box, but a lot of times in the Panini stuff, it does say, oh yeah, you can get the bat or brand logo field glove embroidered. So it says down here. Um, logo shoe brand, da, 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 da. so yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you could possibly get. Um, but uh, out of the hobby, you know, to pull a bat knob or something would be really cool. We used to buy this set when DA Card World had it really cheap. You could buy a hobby box for I want to say like 30 bucks maybe, and you can get some pretty good stuff out of there. We always were trying to pull some um, uh, bat knob or one of the I think they had booklet cards back then uh, we never did but it was a ton of fun actually and, and the paper cards were kind of hilarious so here is our last hit um, a Landon Green so nice so we got um, these two we got what one two three autographs there's our auto, other auto, and then we got this relic. So we got three autographs and two, or excuse me, one relic. I can't add. Um, so not bad. Um, there's Daniel, not the same Daniel. Daniel Tillo was the guy I was talking about earlier. Now, he wouldn't be in this product because that was years ago that he was on USA Baseball. But um, I don't notice, I don't, I shouldn't say notice, I don't recognize a lot of the names uh, on these uh, cards, but some of these guys are super young. So if you look at the back, a lot of times it will tell you. Um, it, oh, it doesn't say his age. It just says um, his height and weight and what he bats and throws. So I was hoping they would say their age because some of these guys are just teenagers, quite young. All right, so here's a recap. Our four hits. We had this nice fireworks, and I don't, I don't know, I don't see a number on that. So that's pretty nice. Uh, the relic, and then we have a regular autograph. Elijah Cl uh, Clayton, and then uh, Green, and then we have Isaac. So uh, those are our hits, and then we have each pack had uh, various parallels in it. So here's some of the highlights of the parallels, and there you have it, guys. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if any of those autographs I pulled are top-notch autographs or not. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, definitely not a USA Baseball uh, expert, not in the least, but I do like opening the product. It's always fun. Let me know what you think. Uh, I would probably say this isn't a bad buy, but if you want even a better one, save up a couple more bucks and buy a hobby box for Give that a try. I think there's seven hits in a hobby box. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button. We will see you soon. Take care. Have fun collecting.